How do you use a besom in your magic? Hi, I'm Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com and if you're new to this channel and you want to learn how to become a witch or a Wiccan or you just want to know more about us and what we do, hit the subscribe button below so that you don't miss anything. This is the besom or the witch's broom, which of course is traditionally associated with witches and has been since the Middle Ages. The possible reason for this is because in pagan practices around Europe, jumping the broomstick for marriages to encourage fertility of the couple, riding broomsticks as part of uh, natural fertility rituals to, to encourage the land to be fertile were part of pagan practices. And so it's been a big part of our, our history. Also, pagan practices and traditional cultures often use hallucinogens as part of their ritual practices. So it's no surprise that if people were using these plant medicines as part of their ritual, that the experience of possibly even flying on the broomstick was something that they did uh, experience under those influences. Riding the broomstick in much the same way as children ride a hobby horse, and the hobby horse actually most likely came from this tradition, it's a symbol of fertility. It's a symbol of fertilizing the land, of the land becoming more fertile so that the crops grow and you have food for another year, which is really, really important when you're living off the land. When you're living in small communities that rely on each other for subsistence, it's also really important to have fertility in regards to humans and animals as well, because all of these things are important for the sustainability of life. So the broom was really important, really important for that aspect. It is a masculine and a feminine symbol. So you've got the masculine phallic uh, handle and you've got the feminine part here of the broom. Traditionally, the handle is made from ash and the broom part is made from uh, birch and it would be tied together with willow. If you're making your own broom, you may be able to use these materials, particularly if you live somewhere where these materials grow naturally. Otherwise, you can use whatever you have available if you're making your own. And there's heaps of videos on YouTube that show you how to make your own uh, besoms and brooms. This one here is made of cane. So it really just depends on what you're using your broom for as to what you want it to be made out of because all of the different substances that we use in nature have different resonance with different things, both cosmically and um, earthwise. So the, your broom's materials, what it's made out of, can influence how your broom works for you. So always take that into consideration. So as a fertility aspect to it, it is something that you can use either uh, as, as this size, or you can even use small little uh, brooms uh, if you're wanting to use them in spells to bring fertility or to bring life to, to implant life into something that you're wanting to build or grow in your life. And to use the broom that way, you'd use it the same as you'd use any kind of talisman as the symbol of what it is you're wanting to bring into life and bringing or having a link to something that you're wanting to bring into your life. So a sigil or a photograph and putting those elements together into a spell like you would with any other type of spell. And the broom can be used uh, to lay across your link. So if it's a photograph, for example, um, you can lay your broom across the link, chant your incantation and have the broom bring that fertility aspect to what it is, whatever it is you're trying to uh, bring into fruition. Another uh, quality of the broom used traditionally in Wicca is for protection. So with the broom, you can sweep energy. You can sweep away energy. So it's used to generally to cleanse the circle before you set up a Wiccan circle. It can, you can also use it to cleanse your home you can use it to cleanse your office space. You can use it to uh, cleanse in many ways and you can use it as a form of protection. So when you're cleaning, as you do with uh, magical floor washers, for example, if you're trying to remove negative energy out of a room or a home, you always start at the back and then sweep it out the front door. 
and the broom itself never touches the ground. So that will never touch the ground. It's sweeping energy away, not physical dirt. Some people like to salt uh, the, the ground and then sweep as a way of uh, cleansing the ground. And if you were doing this outside, uh, you could most likely do that. Uh, but salt can be messy. So you don't necessarily have to put salt all over the place uh, in order to cleanse your space. The broom will do nicely in and of itself. Always tell your broom what you're doing with it and what you want it to do. So don't assume that you're going to be able to just buy a broom and then bang, you can start sweeping out uh, negative energy from your home. You need to charge it up, you need to consecrate it, and you need to uh, tell it what it is that you're wanting it to do. You need to enchant it with the, what it is that you're wanting it to do. And that way then you're linking it to its function and you're also charging it with energy. You can put your broom under your bed. So traditionally brooms were often hung either over a doorway or across the threshold. And that would keep negative energy away from the home or the room. You can put your broom underneath your bed to and sleep over it as a way of also protecting you from negative energies and uh, negative uh, spiritual influences. So essentially, it's an item of protection. So if you're in, say, an office space, you might want to get a small uh, little broom, an ornamental broom perhaps, or make a little tiny broom, enchant it for protection and have that on your desk in your office or uh, you could carry it with you. For example, you could have one in your purse if you're wanting to protect your, your purse or your wallet. You could have a really tiny little one in there. It's a way that you can use it. You can use it to uh, protect your person. You might want, to, might want to make some jewel, it looks like a jewelry out of it. Um, there's many different ways that you can use the broom as a symbol. Enchant it with what it is that you're wanting it to do. Be aware of the materials that it's made out of and then use it as a talisman. Use it as a ward. So if you're putting this across your threshold uh, to ward off negative energy from your home or a room, then it's being used as a ward. If you are using a, a small one and putting it in your wallet or handbag or something like that, then you, you can be using it as either an amulet or you can use it as a talisman depending on what you're wanting it to do. So they're the different ways that you can use your besom and the symbol of the besom in your Wiccan practice, apart from just sweeping away negative energy in order to cast your circle, which is it's really its most common use uh, and putting it over doorways uh, to um, trip people up or to trip negative energy up, so to speak. So that is the besom. And if you are wanting to start your Wiccan practice and you don't know where to start, I have a free video called How to Start Your Witchcraft Practice. The details to that are below this video. So check that out if you're yeah, just wanting to know where to start and you don't know where to start and you don't know how to keep going with your training because there is a lot out there and it can be quite confusing as to how to structure your learning in the craft. So check that out. I'll see you on the next video. Blessed be.